All right, so a formula when we're dealing with um, geometry is an equation which describes the relationship between at least two variables. So I've got some examples here to show you, show you what I mean. So um, up here is the for, uh, formula for the area of a triangle. Um, and it goes like this. Area is equal to 1 half times the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. So this formula is describing the relationship between the area of the triangle, um, A, the base of the triangle, and the height of the triangle. So the, uh, this describes the relationship between three different variables, A, B, and H, the area, base, and height. Um, here's another one, um, classic one, the formula for the volume of a cylinder. Um, v equals pi r squared h, also known as the volume, is equal to pi times the radius squared times the height of the cylinder. So this is relating, again, um, three variables, volume, the radius of the cylinder, and its height. And then pi um, is a constant. It is a infinitely repeating um, irrational number, 3.14, and then an infinite number of decimals after that. Um, which is which is used when dealing with circles, um, such as the bases of the volume. Anyway, getting off on a tangent there. Um, I've got another formula. Uh, distance equals speed times time. That's a good one in physics. Uh, D equals S times T. So relating uh, three different variables here. So Mario B says a formula is a recipe for cooking up answers to math questions. Like a math question would be, what's the area? of this triangle, what's the volume of this cylinder, or how far did I bike yesterday. So it's a formula, it's a recipe for cooking up answers to math questions.